Assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum students how are you all uh, yesterday we started the new text from unit 2.1 it's country for me and uh, let us continue with it so this is unit 2 we have already discussed that there are three chapters three chapters in it it's country for me our environment and tears of nature so it's country for me written by patricia dimmit with the following SLOs, we have to understand the theme, knowledge and understanding regarding the comprehension questions, applying the same in attempting the paper. Then we have the introduction of the author. She was, she lived, she was, she went to the countryside with her husband and her young sons. And during that time, she wrote a book that was Joel growing up as a farm man. And which was the best children book of 1982 by the and was awarded by Society of Midland Authors. So this uh, is a brief introduction of the text. So far so we have studied that Joel was a hard working guy. Uh, he was uh, actively involved in the farm. He was actively involved with the animals. He was actively involved with the livestock. He was actively involved with assisting his parents and uh, uh, family members. We also came to know about the fa family background of jo Joel, the Hollands. Uh, they own a 245-acre land. They bought the land in 1860 and jo Joel was from the uh, fifth generation. Uh, he drove a... He plowed the field with the help of a tractor. They lived in Scales Mound with a population of just over 400 people. Uh, Joel also went to school. He was a good student. He was not a mediocre student. He was an ex exceptional student because he scored 99% in the national testing uh, of the United States. So he was very good in mathematics. He was also good in English. Uh, he was also very uh, uh, learned in uh, history and in sciences he was doing the experiments, the lab experiments as well. Uh, so far so, uh, now we will uh, continue with the text, with the next part. But when the school bus drops Joel off and he runs up the quarter mile lane to his farmhouse, slips out of his sneakers and pull all his boots, then his life is no longer typical of an average teenager. His foot gear is the clue. Joel wears boots every day no matter what the season is. That's because he does shores every night after school and for several hours on weekends. The shores are boot work, hard, heavy and sometimes dirty. We have already done that so you know, you know the meaning and the context of this paragraph. The daily chores that Joel's, Joel does help are to run the farm and to support the family. Joel is a teenager but he does the work of an adult. Unlike most families where the parents alone make the money, farm families work together. Each child's labor is not only important to the family's well-being, it is essential. The Hollands operate a self-sufficient farm typical of many in the convent. There is livestock, there is sheep, they, have, uh, uh, they are self-sufficient. So, to run a farm like this, farmers have to have many skills. They have to be machine operators, driving immense and powerful vehicles. They have to be mechanics, repairing them, husbandmen, raising livestock, veterinarians, tending them when sick, agriculturalists, growing food on a large scale, and business people managing, like Joel's father, a farm operation worth nearly $1 million. So, in order to run a farm like this, farmers must have some essential skills. They must be um, uh, heavy operators, heavy machine operators. You know this is a very useful skill in Pakistan. You also know that heavy machinery, uh, about heavy machinery in Gulf and Europe and Western countries as well. Uh, the license for these vehicles is very difficult to achieve. And these farm guys have to drive such powerful vehicles like tractors and threshers, etc., etc. And they also need to be skilled in the basic mechanics of the vehicle. So that if there is a problem, they can turn to it themselves. They, If there is a major problem, they can go somewhere else. But they need to be expert mechanics as well. They should be husbandmen. Husbandmen means they should know how to raise livestock. 
if a sheep is giving birth if an animal is giving birth they should know what kind of food should be provided to it what kind of care should be given to it we have the example of lambi here they should be vets as well animal doctors they should know how to assess the disease and what kind of medicines are to be provided to such animals they should be agriculturist uh, knowing and understanding the amount of seed required for a particular area for a particular zone how much water is needed how much uh, uh, seed is needed how much uh, land is to be acquired etc etc and apart from that if you are running a business such like that you should have business skills because you are running a property a big property and here we have the estimate of joel's property at that time that is the 1980s 1 million dollars so you can understand what would be its worth in 2020 so as joel works on the farm he's all these workers yes yet he's a boy still and like an apprentice continues to learn new skills joel takes his learning seriously because his goal is to become a farmer he is extremely alert and watchful like a cat even when not actively involved in a show chore joel can readily answer any question about what is going on he listens as his dad counsels a seed customer in the kitchen as his brother terry uh consults a vet about recent deaths in his hog herd as his bro- elder older brothers discuss soil planning while they mend a fence knowledge seems to be constantly seeming seeping sometimes flowing into joel's mind so joel is constantly there he is active learner he is not a passive learner he is an active learner because he has to understand these skills in order to run such kind of farm when he grows and he grows up when he becomes an adult when he becomes independent and he has to run a farm like this on his own he is constantly listening to his fathers and brothers doing different business transactions discussing the farm land discussing the soil discussing the various agricultural attributes so he has to learn these things and uh, joel is very active in these things he is a very good listener so it means joel is not passive in these conditions knowledge is constantly go- going through his mind here we have uh, there is an expression he is extremely alert and watchful like a cat so like a cat what it is what kind of uh, uh, literary term or device has been used here can anybody answer it please do it in the comment section joel is the youngest of ed and betty an important paragraph because it's about the holland family lots of ad- objectives lots of objectives ed and betty hollands ed and betty are the name of his parents six children total six children joel is the youngest of ed and betty's only he and his brother marty marty 16 still live at home joel is 13 years old two other brothers bill and terry come home each day to eat meals with the family bill and terry rent neighboring farms each has his own livestock herd but they farm their land collectively with their father two other children kevin and kathy do not live at home This year Kevin 22 will graduate from college in Chicago. He will be the fourth college graduate among the Holland children. We insist they all go to college and get a taste of what it's like off the farm says Betty. So the parents Betty and Ed have six children. Every child is doing his own work. Every child is either getting education, either he is getting graduation, either he is running a farm, renting a farm, helping the farmer, supporting the farmer. Two of the children that is marty and uh, joel they are with their father and the remaining are doing their own work and betty explains that being even being they are farmers they do not discourage their children from going off the farm they want they encourage their children in doing things which are outside the farm so betty is very encouraging as a mother even the father ed is encouraging they want their children to study as well you can see that from the example of joel so you should know the names of all these siblings their ages if they are mentioned uh, what are they doing what kind of work they are doing you should know these things these are important mcqs
then if they want to come back to farming that's fine Kathy, Kathy 24 is the oldest child and the only daughter so they are five brothers and a single sister with Kathy just 24 years old she's 24 she's now a Roman Catholic nun doing graduate study in Dubuque Iowa but like her brothers she grew up farming and still and she still misses it Kathy called this May during her final exams and said I'd give anything to be plowing instead as the youngest Joel has at times had more farming teachers than he wanted so this is how life goes on we know about Kathy she's a Roman Catholic nun and if you know Roman Catholic nuns and they do go to church and they do not marry, they do not enjoy the worldly life. So Kathy is, has devoted her life to religion. And uh, this May she called and she said that she wanted, she will do anything to do plowing again. So she is missing the farming life. As far as Joel is concerned, he has many teachers. Uh, his brother, his elder brothers and his sister as well, apart from his parents. So all of them are continuously guiding him. They are discussing something and Joel is always listening to them. Uh, he is very active, just like mentioned in the para previous paragraph, like a cat, alert and knows things and want to know things. One night he sat at the kitchen table listening to his dad and brothers talk about the rewards of farming. It's good, independent life, said Bill. You are your own boss. I would have... I wouldn't know, said Joel, grinning. I got bosses. Who? asked his dad. Joel pointed to each one around the table. They all laughed. Joel used to be largely at somebody's side, watching and listening, lending a hand or going on the run for a tractor or forgotten tool. He took the occasional bossing he got in stride. So Joel is basically having fun here with his family. Uh, Bill is discussing the importance and independence of farming life. And Joel is basically making fun of it. He says he has lots of bosses. He has been bossed around. Yes, it happens because he's the youngest. He's usually assisting them or supporting them in their work. When they do work, they have to do something. Because he's small, Joel has a lot of ordering and bossing. He humorously said that otherwise he loves farming. He loves farming. He likes it. He likes it the way it is. He, he is interested in it. So, but by bossing around, he doesn't mean that he is irritated. He is actually having fun with it. Uh, having fun with his elder brother Bill. Now, he is so busy with his own work that he is no longer available to be everybody's gopher. If I had just one word to describe Joel, it would be enthusiasm, says Betty. He uses his youthful energy indiscriminately. On a summer day, he jumped 15 fences, drove farm machinery 25 miles, fed 320 animals, opened and closed 8 gates, walked and ran about 8 miles, jumped and off the tractor 26 times, lifted 900 pounds of grain, shoveled 4,000 pounds at about 2,600 calories a day. So this is how Joel is. Joel is not uh, a gopher now. He was once bossed around but now he is doing his work independently. Look at him. How much work does he do? Just Betty says, Betty the mother, uh, that Joel is constantly enthusiastic about his work. He is very happy to work with and he has objectives in the sentence. How many miles, how many animals, how many gates closed, how many times he sat on the tractor, where he went, how many miles he walked, how many food he ate, he has calculated everything here. And all of these are your important MCQs.
On weekends and during the summer, Joel works outdoors anywhere from 8 to 15 hours a day. The only time he minds it is during early spring. Then the snow melts and rain often pours down daily, turning the farmyard into a swamp. Mud sucks at its boot, making walking itself a tedious shore. More than the bother, though, Joel hates the ugliness. When it rains, everything seems so awful. Regardless of how much energy his work consumes, Joel has plenty left over for sports. So on weekends and during summers, look at it, he works 8 to 15 hours a day. Now it's a big ask. 8 to 15 hours a day is a big ask and Joel is doing it. He does not like some things and what is it that is the spring season as far as the farm country is concerned because the snow melts, there is lot of water and lot of mud, squishy mud. Kichad ho jata hai aur kichad ki wajah se everything changes, everything looks ugly as well. Barish ho ho, one enjoys the rain but when there is lots of uh, mud such as uh, uh, that can be seen in a farm it's make walking and doing work very really difficult and Joel hates it Joel also hates the ugliness that comes with it because there it's dirtiness everywhere there is everywhere this wet mud which is squishing the boots you are walking around you can fall down everything becomes so awful for him so that's why Joel does not like the spring season, regardless of all these things, regardless of this uh, hate for the spring season, Joel is also very interested in sports and what kind of sports he does, we will study in the next paragraph. He hunts deer and traps wildlife in the fall and snowmobiles in the snowmobiles in the winter. So deer or traps karta hai, yani shikari hai, shikar karta hai, fall, fall kate autumn ko. Spring brings softball and basketball games and summer provides weather for water skiing and fishing. Nearly all his favorite sports are played outdoors. If he had to live in city for years, Joel says he would mostly miss the land. I'll miss seeing things grow, the change of seasons. So he's, he's a sports guy as well. Different kinds of sports are played by him and many of his favorite, favorite sports are outdoor games. Remember, outdoor games, it's an MCQ. Apart from that, the number of games are mentioned with the seasons. With the season. So you should remember the seasons and the sports associated with it as far as Joel is concerned. All of these are objectives. Please do remember them. And Joel gives his own comments in the end that he would miss the land, the growing up of things. He loves nature as far as the things are growing and the change of season. So he likes nature. He likes uh, to be near to nature. So this is one of his positive attributes apart from his hard work, his working, uh, his dedication and devotion, his love of nature and apart from that he is an also a very good sportsman as well. In fact, if Joel could choose any place in the world to live, he guesses he will let right here it have to be country. After living out here, I don't think I will ever want to be in city. You just don't have the freedom or the responsibilities. <clears throat> I am not saying a city kid does not have responsibilities, but you don't work as a family the way you do on a farm. It just have to be a country for me. So this is here, Joel, Joel mentions that if he wants to live a life, he will life, choose a life in the farm. He will lie, live a life in the country. Why? Because of the responsibilities and the work as a united family. Because in cities, usually families are usually nuclear farm. They are doing different works. They are not doing works together. They are involved in different jobs. Yes, if they are business people, that is something else. But not all of the family members are involved in the single business farm is something else you have a family you get to work you do it together if you have ideal conditions so Joel is accustomed and uh, habitual of such a life so he would not be comfortable in a city life he would be comfortable in a farm life that is the country life
so thank you for your attention uh, if you have any questions you can ask uh, yes we will do the question answers as we did in the previous uh, lessons uh, we, we i will be sharing the questions with you along with the theme of the chapter and uh, uh, there are lots of objectives in this uh, exercise today i will be asking you questions so be ready be prepared.